Welcome back gamers, my name is Nick and this is another Let's Play the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. Now uh, in today's episode we're going to be kind of going over some basics of your castle, just kind of familiarizing yourself with the core elements that will drive your progression through the game. But before we get to that, I'd like to recognize the uh, winners of our Beta Key giveaway contest in the last video and uh, their names are Warthog Conqueror. Congratulations. Rock Cumberbatch. Congratulations. The Nami Masu. Congratulations. And 1981 The Real Fury. Pretty intense name, dude. Congratulations. So, um, oh, and besides that, I'd like to throw a shout out to the uh, Mighty Quest Epic Loot uh, social media team. Those guys are doing a great job communicating with the community, uh, letting them know what's going on with the game, what's going on inside the game, outside the game, in the forums, out of the forums. Check them out on Facebook. Check them out in the forums at uh, themightyquest.com. Really good stuff going on there. They, they, they were a lot of help. In fact, I couldn't be doing these videos without uh, their help, uh, specifically from Facebook. So go ahead and give them a like. They really deserve it. Uh, they're really good guys. So, anyway, let's get into the game. So every, every time I uh, join, I like to go straight into the battle log. Now the battle log is going to tell you who came into your castle. And uh, I haven't been on for about 10 hours, so I'm just going to scroll down. Oh, looks like we got a mage there that attacked. Thanks, bro. Yeah, that guy just ganked 2,600 of my loots. All right, look at that. 34 and 34, right back to back. Oh, oh Billy Brasky, he, he came back and got three crowns back. 17. That guy tried and tried and tried. Gowron, sorry dude. Just not in the cards, man. And then that guy came and ganked me. Alright, well anyway, let's move on to um, learning uh, the core of your castle. But, you know... Before you do that, uh, if you ever come and, and you kill someone, there'll be a little gravestone left. And uh, you want to claim that, clear it off the board, and claim the loot. Now, the loot value is determining uh, determined by, I think it's by the level of your castle or the level of the person. But uh, it seems like uh, everyone at my level, who, or around my level, who's dying in my castle is giving me 625 gold. Now, in a previous lower version of my castle, I was getting less gold. I think I was getting 500, and then before that, I was getting, like, just 100. So, it uh, it definitely will go up, and I think it's depending on just your castle level. So, let me clear my mines real quick. You always want to have these clear, uh, because they are constantly farming your life force and gold for you and that's something I will cover in a later video for sure the placement of those uh, it's it's not really important a lot of people might think it's super important but here you go here's the here's the main ending room of your castle this is gonna be in everybody's castle every single person is going to have w this room at the end of their castle and the the giant floating crystal there in the back that is your castle's heart it is the core that enables you to upgrade everything. And when I say that, I mean that the tools that, like, for instance, you, you can't upgrade uh, your, my, my gold wells. I can't upgrade those right now because they're at max. But it says once I upgrade my castle heart, it will increase the value. Um, this is the life force and gold storage. It's it's basically just where you keep your gold. You upgrade that and it increases the amount you can carry. Now moving on, we have the potion brewery. This is where you get your health potions. Very important. You need to visit this often and always. It uh, It's basically your only supply of, of life-giving potions in this game come from this uh, brewery. And uh, as you level up, the potions will unlock, and each potion uh, gives you a different quantity of health. 
Also in the Potion Brewery, you can buy the Magic Fine Boost, Life Force Boost, and Gold Boost, and those are all available for purchase for 99 uh, bling. And um, that's, of course, the, the money that you get when you donate. So moving along here, we have the Hero Trainer. Now, when you have filled your experience bar and you have the correct level of hero trainer, you can come here and level up your hero. Now, each hero's costs, as you can see, my level 8 knight, to increase him to level 8, it only costs 550. To increase my 19 archer to level 20, it's going to cost me almost 8 grand. And uh, you can see I have the XP requirement, but I need a higher uh, rank of hero trainer and I can't move my rank of hero trainer currently until I increase my castle heart. Now this is the architect's office. This is basically where you get all your rooms from your um, for your facility and all of your items like the architect, the blacksmith, the mage trainer, the life force mines, the gold mines. Most importantly the life force and gold mines. You always want to get as many of those in your castle as you can. And of course the actual rooms for your castle. So if you want to um, get a new room, this is where you need it. If you if you walk through someone else's castle and you say, "Well, wow, that's a cool room," well, this is where you find it. Now, this is probably the second or first most important item in the castle. It's the research lab, and I'm showing you the research lab before the actual uh, summoning portal because I, I just I can't emphasize how important this place is. This actually drives the level of your castle. Because the level of your castle is determined by the level of creatures inside of it. Now, um, each creature, once it attains a certain level, will gain a certain ability. Well, I say each creature, most creatures, will gain a certain ability at a certain level. This is where you set those abilities, because there's usually a choice of three. So, uh, you, uh, you always want to be checking uh, your research lab and comparing it to the mobs that you have in your castle. If you have mobs in your castle that aren't leveled up, you need to make sure they're leveled up. It's definitely one of the most important things. And you can see here, this is where you change your specialization of the certain mob. Uh, the Cyclops can do offensive tackle, floor punch, fists of rage, and each time you change those, it updates it, and the character will do that specific movement in the game now as his mechanic. Now this is the summoning portal. The summoning portal is super important because as you level up the summoning portal, it increases the defense rating of your castle. And the defense rating of your castle is basically the amount of mobs that you can put in it. So as you level this up, you'll be able to put more and more and more bad guys in your castle. And uh, here's the list if you guys want to check it out. Uh, I'm sure you guys are all itching to see all their abilities and all the cool things that they do. Um, I'm, I'm up to Battering Ram yet. Uh, I have faced the Dampeners yet. Dampeners? Oh my god. They are vicious. Um, but anyway, from the summoning portal, you just click buy and um, you can drag out your mob at any point and anywhere in the castle and you know as long as he meets the criteria for that spot you can place him and uh, you can zoom in while you're placing and and zoom out and move around and make sure that you have him in exactly the right spot and uh, I'll, I'll go into mob placement into an uh, in another video um, oh this is also where you buy your traps um, and you level up your traps along with your mobs in the research lab so We'll go into trap placement in another video for sure. These traps are all pretty deadly and vicious in their own right, but they can be completely useless if they're not used in the right way. And, and I will definitely be showing you examples of that because traps are one of the most important things. So moving on to blacksmith. Um, this is where you get all your gear. It's basically just a gear shop. Nothing more. It's where you go to get your weapons, your armor, your jewels. Uh, each level will be displayed uh, as you're leveling up. It will just display the most pertinent one, but if you want to search ahead, you can. And, and it looks like the level 30 stuff is pretty darn expensive. It's a quarter of a million dollars for just uh, 
one piece so I, I really look forward to getting up into those levels and getting that kind of loot from a castle I can't wait actually but it's pretty cool here's the armor and and you can choose whether you see the knight or the mage's armor or the uh, archer's armor at any point you want these are uh, the, the ones that are available to me right now, the level 15 and 19 gear, because I have a level 19 archer. It's my main character. I'm, I'm in love with the archer. Oh, also, here's a little hint. This sapphire ring, it's really, really good. Really, really good. 80% critical damage, 3% critical chance. Yeah, I'm wearing two of them. <laughs> I'm a level 15 knight. I I I or a level 15 archer. I didn't discover this until I was a level 19. I suggest you put those on when you hit level 15, no matter who you are. They are really awesome rings. Um, this is also the buyback. When you sell something from your inventory here, it will go into the buyback tab of any of these um, places, and you can uh, buy back whatever you. Whoa! It looks like I got some good armor on my last approach. We'll have to look at that next time. All right, but anyway, so um, the worker's cabin is the very last place. It's basically every time you upgrade it, you get another worker. The workers are the guys that go in and do the upgrading, the actual physical upgrading. And I'll show you here. I'll upgrade these, uh, this gold mine and this life force mine. So as you click upgrade, it will let you know what you're getting for your upgrade, how long it will take, and how much it will cost. So it's gonna this this particular upgrade cost me six thousand life force. I have it. Timer starts. Uh, I select the gold mine. I see the upgrades. It's gonna cost me six thousand gold. I have it. Upgrade it, and the timer start. Now I can't upgrade anything else. If I wanted to upgrade anything else, I couldn't because I only ha currently have two workers, and uh, they are currently both employed so it's kind of basically how that works it's a pretty cool mechanic I I like it and you know if you donate you'll get more bling and you'll be able to buy more workers and you'll be able to upgrade things faster I really had a problem at the beginning levels I wanted to go 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 but I had to wait for the uh, the uh, workers to finish but anyway I really hope you like the video like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.